once a year when motorcycle freaks all gather here. Some ship their bikes by a boat or plane. It don't really matter cause it's all the same. They got the will to get to Bonneville. A minute ago you got six at four, four at five, and six at six crossing from the freeway. And then it drops down to maybe three. It's Bonneville is an amazing place. I think the most amazing thing about it is the people that I've met here. There's such camaraderie. Uh, last year, you know, people that I'm running the same, in the same class as them have helped me out with parts or suggestions on setup. I mean, everybody here is so friendly and so helpful. Uh, it's, I, I love it here. I've fallen in love with it. riding bikes at 16. I bought an old beat up bike from a neighbor of mine for $200 and fixed it up and rode it for means of transportation. I don't come from a motorcycle family, you know. I wasn't raised with bikes, but I was hooked from the first time. And then I uh, started riding sport bikes right after, you know, kept bought a couple of bikes, a couple more bikes after that. And at 19 I got my road racing license and pre-ridden Baja, plan on racing it this year, have, you know, a lot of off-road and on-road experience, and then um, got into a Yamaha dealership in my early 20s, and when I sold out of that, I decided to go to something more feminine and, and start up in construction. Uh, I, I built houses for a few years and I missed the motorcycle business so much and I missed being around the motorcycle people, motorcycles, so I opened up another dealership about five years ago, uh, actually four years ago, a little over four years ago in Dallas, Texas, High Five Cycles. It's a used bike dealership, also you know, parts department, full service department, and uh, I love it. I, I'm glad to be back in the motorcycle world. Bonneville was always a dream of mine. It's just one of those things that was on my list of things to do. I've always heard about it and it's, I, everything that I do, if I do it, I do it big. And I decided, you know, if I'm gonna go out here, I want, I want to go over 200 miles an hour. I want a big record. I'll go and, and do my best to get something fast. So I built a turbocharged Hayabusa and that's what I'm running here. So came out here for the first time in 2007 and unfortunately got into a nasty lock-to-lock -lock tank slapper. The back end came around on me and I got pitched off um, a little over 100 miles an hour and ended up with seven broken ribs, a punctured lung, and a concussion. So I, I got a trip to the hospital that year. 2008, came back out here set uh, world record at 232 miles an hour in the 2000 cc class on my turbocharged Hayabusa uh, with a big stroker motor in it and then um, also set the production 1000 record at 192.9 and I still hold those records after this meet. Uh, salt conditions weren't too great all week so it's been kind of tough for a lot of people to get speed so still have both of those records and I just um, just ran 240 on the on the Hayabusa with a 1350 uh, class motor, a little smaller motor, but it it actually pulls more speed because it's it's got a little higher RPM. So just 
ran 240 on it and set a record in APS blown fuel uh, 1350 at 234 but I think it looks like somebody might have I think Richard just tried to squeeze in on another run and, and and take that record back and I think he beat me by a couple miles an hour we'll see Bonneville is a definite test of patience, you know, it teaches you patience. Uh, I really want to be over the 250 mark. I want a record over 250. Uh, it's, that's my big goal. It's hard though because that 240, that one run at 240, I was well over 240 going into the mile and just roasted my tire off. It just spun through the entire measured mile and came back and my tire was had huge chunks missing, blisters all over it. It's really gruesome. So, you know, it's hard to keep it's hard to keep a machine together and keep everything working, especially on a surface like salt. There is something about this place that just attracts the you know the neatest people on earth too. So when they say you know talk about salt fever, boy, they're they're right. It it is an addiction. <laughs> got a phone call a few years ago, said Bonneville is where you need to be. So I packed it up and I headed west just to see what there was to see. Oh, by the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever. Scream and scream, liners down to motor scooters and every motorcycle in between. Five full days of two wheeled land speed racing, well that's what there was to be seen. By the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever. Alcohol or a turbocharger helps the motorcycles down the line. After a week of watching all these bikes, I'm here to say the bubs have been as fine, fine, fine. Well, I don't know if I can wait a year. Come next September, I hope to be back here. Watching all the bikes and meeting all the folks. Hanging down at the barn, hearing some lousy jokes. By the speed bug, I got bit. Now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever. They're on course. They're past the three. They're getting faster. Just look and see. Tucked down low and riding with a smile. Screaming on through the famous measured mile. Well, by the speed bug, I got bit. Now I just can't quit, cause I got the salt flat fever right here at Bonneville.